Hey guys, it's Tama. Today we're gonna talk about why prebiotics are not actually good for treating acid reflux. If you have acid reflux, it's very likely that you have some kind of gut microbiome problem. You have too many bad bacteria, not enough good bacteria. There's, there's a lot going on there. Um, so a lot of times in order to get the good bacteria to stay, you might take a prebiotic. But if you're someone with a gut problem, you probably also have bad bacteria. So really, you don't actually want to take a prebiotic because basically a prebiotic is usually some kind of fibrous medium that helps the bacteria live. Like they, they go and kind of live in the fibrous medium and colonize your stomach or, or your lower your guts, you know, like your lower down kind of digestive tract. Um, so the problem is if you have bad bacteria, they can also colonize this beautiful prebiotic stuff that you put into your guts. And you really don't want that. You really don't want to support them at all. You want to get rid of them as much as possible and then keep inoculating yourself with the good bacteria that'll go fight the battle for you and will really take care of you and support your health. So what I would recommend is do not have prebiotics, but definitely take a lot of really strong live probiotics that can help with your gut biota there. Like they can really, you can inoculate yourself with them over and over during the day. And eventually, hopefully like they'll be colonizing your gut so thoroughly that you'll start feeling much better. Um, and they'll be out competing like for example, the H. pylori is outcompeted by Lactobacteria, Bactillus, and Bifidobacterium. So you can take things here, uh, like almond yogurt, and you can get this ready in advance. Some Kavita, which is water kefir. You can also make this yourself if you want to just grow it. It's 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 much cheaper to do that, and it's really not very hard. You want to be drinking like hopefully a whole bottle of this stuff every single day, but you can make your own. It's, it's really not that hard. Um, as long as you have kind of a warm space somewhere and, and basically like a little more space than this. Like it's better if you can do it in kind of a pitcher, um, but I sometimes travel a lot and I just make mine right in one of these bottles, that, a darkened one that, um, so, so the sunlight doesn't hurt the bacteria because they're in there like doing their thing and they don't really want the sunlight. It, it's not so good for them. Um, but same, if you can do non-dairy yogurt, this one is almond milk, which I wouldn't re really recommend in the very beginning of the protocol, of my acid reflux protocol, because some people might have nut sensitivities. I think coconut is a lot more neutral. A lot less people are allergic to coconut, so I recommend starting with the coconut yogurt, see how that goes, and then you can start adding in almond yogurts and stuff like that, but definitely non-dairy yogurt is really great. Um, kombucha is also good, but the thing is kombucha can be really acidic and if you've been having acid reflux problems, you really don't want to be adding acid to your esophagus because you already have all the pepsin in there and the pepsin gets activated by acid. It doesn't matter if it's your stomach acid coming up or if it's that you're pouring the acid down into your esophagus, it activates the pepsin anyway, either way. and the pepsin basically starts digesting your own esophagus, which is just really terrible and obviously hurts a lot and does damage that you're gonna have to spend a lot of time repairing. Um, so anyway, live, live probiotics are really great. You can also take the pills. There's some that have like billions of live cultures. I don't think they're as effective. Um, but it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to eat both live probiotics and take the pills than it will be to stay on a lifetime of omeprazole or to have a Lynx surgery or a, um, a Neeson surgery. And those things are really invasive. You're really not gonna feel good for quite some time and it may or may not work. So there's a lot of different things you can do to support your gut bacteria, which is one of the pillars of curing your acid reflux and getting it completely under control, managing it, becoming healthy, figuring out how to support your own body, getting rid of allergies and all these things. But definitely your gut biome is really important and 
and whatever we can do to support it is really great. But prebiotics, not on the list. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my book if you haven't already. I, I cure my own acid reflux. I have to be on a little bit of a special diet because I have some food sensitivities that have persisted. But otherwise, I have had no acid reflux symptoms for years now. And I had really extremely severe reflux to the point where I like lost my voice and I just, it was awful. Um, but I'd love to help you get through your challenges with acid reflux. And so check me out, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.